Hey guys! Hey! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Star Fields. And I'm Deborah Ann Bartlett. And this is my mommy! And this is my special <laughs> blessing star. And we have been on our vegan journey for over six months now following a whole foods plant-based diet by Dr. John McDougall called The Start Solution. All right. We are so excited you guys. I'm down over 18 pounds. I'm down over eight pounds. And we are feeling amazing. And my mom always likes to say she's feeling what? Full, Full and satisfied. satisfied. And that's exactly the way you want to feel. <laughs> yes. You'll never ever have to be hungry again on another diet if you just try the Start Solution. This is our second video from our $20 Whole Foods Challenge. If you missed the first one, I'll make sure I link it up here in the cards. In this video, we're going to show you how many lunch and dinner meals that we're going to be able to make from our $20 Whole Foods Challenge. This video is in collaboration with Miss Lee from Starch with Plants. We are so excited to bring you these delicious recipes for the Start Solution diet. Make sure you stay to the end so you won't miss her delicious vegan risotto. And to see my creamy corn chowder, make sure you visit her page, Starch with Plants. I know you guys hear the water boiling behind me, so we're right on time for me yeah. to give you the menu of what we're gonna be making. Mm -hmm. So the first thing on the menu is gonna be some delicious corn chowder mm -hmm. with some air fried Brussels sprouts. Doesn't mm -hmm. that sound delicious? That sounds real good. <laughs> Next thing on the menu, we're calling it our triple B platter because it's gonna be black beans, bonza rice with a side of broccoli. You see how my hands just go like that, okay? <laughs> it's gonna be so delicious, you guys. And the next thing on the menu is gonna be a creamy pasta sauce with a side of purple cabbage. And the last thing on the menu is gonna be everybody's favorite. You know what that is, what? French, French fries. fries, all right, so you guys stay tuned and we're gonna get to cooking to show you these delicious Start Solution recipes. The water is already boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and throw our rice and pasta in there. Remember, I decided to go with the bonza pasta because it has 10 grams of protein per serving. And then we also went with the whole wheat panay pasta. While the rice is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and peel the potatoes from our five pound bag of potatoes that we picked up. We're gonna keep three potatoes out because we're gonna make some french fries with those. We're gonna air fry our Brussels sprouts. Alrighty guys, so this is the bonza rice. You can see how nicely it cooked up. And um, it does say in the directions to add some butter, but y'all know we ain't about to do all that, okay? So this is how nicely it cooked up. It looks mm -hmm. really nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna add to the bonza rice is just a little bit of garlic salt. Mm -hmm. So that bonza rice came out good, you guys, perfect. So the noodles are done at the same time. They have a perfect consistency. Get ready to make the sauce. So this should make a delicious corn chowder. Corn chowder is done. So we're on to the next thing. All right, let's go. What's the next thing? The cabbage is getting its second bath. Mm -hmm. To make this cream sauce, all you're gonna do is take one can of garbanzo beans. We already drained them and rinsed them off. And we're gonna just throw them in my little ninja here. We're gonna take this in my, my handy dandy ninja here, which is one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. I use it all the time on the Start Solution. I'll make sure I link the link in the description box below in case you're in need of a budget price blender right now. This is so good, I think it's only $30. This is the leftover seasoning that we had from earlier, because we just cut a block off. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw our garbanzo beans in there. And remember, that little frozen block of seasoning blend is just red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, and some onions, and some celery, okay? I'm gonna use a half a cup of the soy milk. Oh my gosh, 
If that is not the most beautiful creamy sauce, I don't know what to tell you. If you have mushrooms at home, you could add some mushrooms to it or any other veggies that you wanted to add. But this is just a really nice creamy sauce and I'm so excited to pour that on top of the pasta and have that with a side of broccoli. We're just gonna pour like about a half a cup of water and we're gonna bring that to a boil. And we're gonna throw in a little garlic powder onion powder nature's blend seasoning salt i'm just going to mix all that in we're going to dump the cabbage in and then we're going to just put a lid on it and steam it for about 10 minutes we normally buy dry beans but because of the 20 dollars challenge i just went with the canned beans because they were cheaper and um it'll still give us the same effect. And so all I do is just take them out of the can and then I'm just gonna rinse really good, rinse them off and make sure it has all of the canned seasoning off so I can add my own seasoning. Because we washed the flavor off, we're just gonna season it to our own liking, which is just gonna be a little bit of nature seasoning. And the rest, that'll be all the salt that we'll use. And then we'll just use a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder, okay? Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. And that'll be it for our black beans. So we just go heavier on the powders and then just mix it up like that. So the seasoning gets on all the beans. And now it should taste like something familiar. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That tastes like something I'm used to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tastes like something, it is, it tastes like something I'm used to eating. So that is, oh, they taste so good now, like night and day. This creamy corn chowder soup came out amazing. Don't forget to head over to Starch with Plants and get the recipe. Next up are the delicious french fries. We steamed the potatoes in the microwave for about 10 minutes and we're here cutting hot potatoes. And a lot of times the texture will help the potato to be able to hold the flavor that you're gonna be putting on there. So we're gonna use some garlic salt with parsley. Everything is almost ready. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. All right. Let's go. All righty guys, everything is done. All of our meals are prepared. And when I tell you it looks like Thanksgiving up in here, it does. So let me share with you the menu, all right? Starting off with our corn chowder with the carrots, the corn, the potatoes, and some soy milk with the side of air fried Brussels sprouts. Next on the menu, we have our triple B platter, which was the bonza rice, the black beans, and the broccoli. All righty, guys. Next on the menu, we had our creamy pasta sauce on top of whole wheat panay pasta and a side of beautiful purple cabbage. Delicious, right? <laughs> and last on the list, we had everybody's favorite, what? French, French fries. fries! And they are so delicious. I'm eat them up. Yeah. <laughs> we saved four potatoes out of the bag and we made up some delicious French fries and broccoli. These are the four amazing meals that we were able to get off of our $20 haul. And then there's more. Remember that McDougal Asian noodles? It looks so good when you warm it up. And to make it even better, all you have to do is add some purple cabbage on top. So that's what we're gonna do for that. Add a little bit of purple cabbage in there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Quentin's gonna do us the honors. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, my name is Miss Lee and my channel is called Starch with Plants. On my channel, I share how I lost over 18 pounds on the starch solution. I show videos like recipes, I like to do what I ate today videos, and I also like to do starch solution meals for maximum weight loss for beginners. So if you'd like to check out my channel, then after this video, please check it out. 
This is the second part of our Whole Foods haul where we tried to spend $20 or less and I spent $20.72. So I made two meals, one here and one on my channel. So I hope you enjoy what I made. Definitely check me out and subscribe if you like my content. I am using celery, onion, garlic, carrots, and parsley. Everything's been left over in my fridge for honestly a couple of weeks, except for the onion that was like last week. So making some veggie broth from this. For the vegan risotto, I'm gonna be using this rice and I'm gonna be using one cup. I'm gonna start toasting this rice. And here I have the fresh garlic. I used two cloves and I have some homemade vegetable broth. I'm just going to be putting a tiny bit of this in there because I don't use oil. The garlic is now done. It smells really good in here. So these are the peas from my peas and carrots. I felt that the peas alone would go better with the risotto. So I literally picked out all the peas and the carrots. You can see a piece of carrot right there. While I'm waiting for the rice to cook, I'm gonna add some seasonings. So now the rice is toasting. I'm gonna start adding the broth slowly. I've added some broth and the key is to just keep stirring it until the rice absorbs the broth. This literally took forever to cook. I added all of the vegetable broth. I didn't think I was gonna have enough and finally it looks like it's done and it's soft. Now I'm gonna be adding the garlic and the peas. Adding some parsley, a tiny bit of veggie pepper seasoning, just a little. I wanted a tiny bit more creamier, so I'm adding a little bit of this almond milk. And I'm adding a little garlic salt. Here is my vegan risotto with peas. Super simple and easy to make. Whole Foods $20 budget meal. So I'm going to try this. It's very flavorful. I definitely taste the effects of the homemade veggie broth. Has a good flavor to it and the rice is chewy, the rice is soft. I like it a lot. The rice was delicious. The only thing that I would do is I would cook it a tiny bit longer than I did. It still had a lot of flavor to it and it was really tasty. Thank you for watching my recipe for my Start Solution $20 budget haul and have a great day. I'm a girl, I'm a girl.